All right, all right, all right. Here we go, man. Check this out. So, Ozzy Kid, you know what I'm saying? He is in Tune Squad. Shout out Ozzy Kid. He does have a YouTube channel. I'm going to say this first things first. He wanted me to check out his fight. I want you guys to check out his channel and show him some love. He had 1.08K subscribers, man. Hey, by the time I see this in 24 hours, I know one thing. I know y'all better get his numbers up, especially if you pride game, man. Show some support to a fellow community member, man. Also, he showed mad love to me, and I also show mad love to my man's Ozzy Kid, man. He out here grinding, doing his thing. But we're here today, man. You guys see the title of his video, Outstanding Fight, my favorite. Best fight doing the absolutely no HUD challenge. Now, if you guys didn't watch my video, man, I did a no HUD, literally no grappling HUD, no grapple advantage HUD, no clock. You literally saw nothing. Even when you went down to the ground, you couldn't see the transitions you had or, or you didn't have, okay? And he did it, and we're going to check him out. We're going to see how he rock and how he did with this one, man, all right? Here we go. Again, link to Ozzy Kid YouTube channel is going to be in the description below. And once he comments on the video, I will be sure to pin his comment. All right, it'll be the first one you see. Show him some love. Let's get it. Oh, man, go out get a win. Oh, I ain't even got... I'm out here trolling. I ain't even got my headphones plugged up. I'm out here trolling, y'all, man. Let's work. Have to have that bulletproof mindset. Ozzy Kid and... Okay, let me see how he work. He going against a Conor McGregor too. Also, this Conor McGregor player, if you look on the leaderboards right now, I know I'm pausing it a little bit. If you look on the leaderboards right now, he is number two. I call him number one because the guy that's number one is literally a pure spammer, and we don't count those people. They are bots, okay? Let's get it. And if you don't like it, Masaki Yamada. That's work. Okay. And I know Ozzy kid, man. man. What is this? Is this your friend? Okay, he working the jab. Nate Diaz one two is money. Oh my goodness! Hopefully, I feel so beatable, Ooh. but unbeatable at the same time. I can relate hundred <laughs> percent. That boy, hey, that one two is crispy right now. Sometimes, a lot of the times, you lose him because he gets off one good counter, one good counter, and then everything's fucked. I need to see what this com I need to see what this Kamapuya work like. I might need to see what this Kamapuya work like. I might have to hit him up or some. That was nice. Ooh, to the body. Ooh, and he threw the hook so he couldn't. Okay. Okay. Ozzy kid doing work right now. The thing about Conor McGregor, it don't take much. It don't take much. Nice jab to the body. You can see what Ozzy kid, he, he utilizes Nate Diaz's reach very well. And Nate Diaz ain't a player you can just pick up and use, man. You got to have you gotta have a certain level of skill to use Nate Diaz. Oh, he rocked him. Hook, hook, uppercut. Okay, that was nice. He don't, he don't work right now. Remember, he ain't got no hood. He can't see the, he can't see nothing. He can't see nothing. Okay. Okay. And not too much going on right now. And I say work to the body by both players. Knee. He probably tried to throw a sidekick moving forward. That's what it looked like. Oh, he slipped the jab. Then he get hit with a crossbar lead hook. Slightly faster. That when you throw it by itself. I agree. But I mean, at that point, it's gonna be like abuse. So I, I understand why the body hook is a bit slower. One, two. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ozzy Kid is clean right now. Ozzy Kid is clean right now. Oh. Okay. Mm. See, the thing about Nate is you got to fight on the front foot. You can't really fight on the back foot because people can play the in and out game versus you really well. You got to pressure Nate people. Oh. Yeah. He was having much more success when he was moving forward with Nate. You just got to. With Nate, you got to move forward. Nice. Mm. 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 He making a miss now. Kick the leg. Nice. My combo pull you. See how he working? See how he working? Like you can rock him a shit ton and out of nowhere he goes into the matrix and ruins your day. <laughs> 
Here we go, round two. Nice edit right there by Kama. I mean, not Kama, but Ozzy Kid. Kama kind of bait out the uh, the uppercut counter when he uh, throws the, um, the strike to the body. Oh, he should have seen that coming. I knew the high kick was coming right there. If he ducked, oh, and he slip hooks. And then follows up to the body and with a high kick. Goes to the body. Nice. And you can see Ozzy Kid is... He, he definitely... You know what I'm saying? I feel like a little pressure is building up on him. So he got he to gotta relax, and he got to move forward. Ah. He got to move forward. Because he got a rock in round one. But it's Conor McGregor. Mm. Yeah, see, he's, he's on point with the counters now. It's like he made the proper reads as he was on the back foot. And that's what makes the best players the best players. See how he he faint he uh fainting the shot to the body. He's trying to draw out the uppercut from Ozzy. Oh, nice rock. Two to the body. Third to the body, but he blocks it. Oh, nice hook to the body. You can see, man, he's on that front foot. He's doing work. But the second he starts backing up, that's when it gets ugly for him. Oh, counter didn't go through. You gotta watch out because he's looking for that high kick after a combination. I don't know if you guys noticed that as well. Nice front kick to the body. Mm. Oh, rocked him. Body, body, body. Oh, oh. Two more to the body. A jab to the body. Oh, this is this is um, you don't want you don't want versus Ozzy, you don't want to be on, on the the back end as far as your health stats, man. Cause he'll he'll consistently rock you and get you up out of there and when you go against people that do this bait and stuff where they bait you trying to get you to go to the body and then they try to make you throw like an uppercut when they go to your body and they faint try to get you to throw a counter uppercut as they go to your body i highly suggest you guys punch their body man when you see that punch their body punch their body the head moves the body stays there and i would recommend hooks because the uppercuts they can evade with uh they can evade the uppercuts with head movement Ozzy's doing work right now. Mm. Work the jab. One two by Connor. So he likes that. He likes that lead hook followed by the cross to the body. Oh, rocked him again. Oh, nice head moving by Kama for you. Nice head movement. Whoo! <laughs> he said when Ozzy starts taking the Darth Vader bread, Brad, you know he's Darth getting real. In <laughs> Hope he doesn't fake glove touch, mate. <sighs> Kama for you be fake glove touching? Couldn't be me. Oh, he got to back up. The block was uh, committed, broken essentially. Okay. Mm. And Connor's ready to go. This Connor McGregor is definitely ready to go. But Nate Diaz doesn't have the power to just put him out. Nice. Utilize the kickboxing versus Connor McGregor. I mean, against Nate Diaz when using Connor. Nice counter up because he finally threw it. Goes to the body. Jab to the body. Oh, almost. Pushes him back. He tried. Oh, Ozzy baited out that counter. Watch out for the high kick. Got Kama Fuya. Pushing back with the front kick. Race the body. Hook up top. Mm, nice counter. Nice uh, intercepting cross by Ozzy. Got to watch out, man. He's been working uh, Ozzy's body a little bit, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets, like, a body rock soon. Mm, another hook to the body in the front key, but he whips. Whoo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's, that's the problem when you're dealing with Conor McGregor. 
That's the problem with dealing with Conor McGregor, man. They don't take too much, and he'll get you up out of there. Oh, that was nice. Oh, he rocked him to the body. Like I said before, man, the body is there. The body was there to be rocked. Okay. Nice. Oh, rock him again. Body, body, body. Uh oh. Up hook. Hook. Uppercut. Oh, he dropped him. Oh, this may be it. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, he Fuck. gets out. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. He probably gonna work with the knees now. Rocked him. Dropped him. Yeah. When you get here, when you get here, it gets tough for you. It gets tough for you. Yeah. Oh my fucking god, man. Yep. Oh. Yep. That's the I tough that part. Win so badly, man. That's the tough part, bro. Uh, man, if I got that win, if I got that is the tough part about the uh the knockdown system and when you it like forces you to get not only are you forced to get up from there now you're forced to be in that terrible position that's implemented into the game that like you're on a cage all you can do is defend you can't block any knees you can't go you know try to get a, a double under you can't try to go over under you're literally stuck like that it's trash bro one of the worst aspects of this game especially when you get knocked down right there because now you're forced to either you can only block your body or you can only block your head from some strikes and it is ugh. It's disgusting. It was a good match. It's a terrible ending to a, 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 a classical match, man, honestly. Uh, this was a good match. Again, he could have got, he was, I mean, a couple more shots away from getting uh, Kamapuya out of there. But Kamapuya, man, he was slowly working the body. And I, and I called it. I knew that the rock was there. He rocked him, dropped him, got him on the cage, threw the knees, got him up out of there. But all in all, man, this was a pretty solid video. I literally give this a, a 9 out of 10. Um, only reason I'm not gonna give it a 10 because you didn't get the win, but Hey, shout out Ozzy kid. You guys do me a favor and drop him a sub on this channel Drop him a like on this video run them numbers up man showing some love. I appreciate you guys shout out Ozzy kid and and I'll be uh catch you guys in the next man and again enjoy the rest of your day. Love you guys man. See ya